Spooky Reddit Pasta How to Skin a Human by username Scarabloom. In medieval times, it was called flaying, but the practice was going on long before and all around the world. It means to skin people alive. Firstly, the skin isn't the easiest thing to remove without some preparation. It's the body's largest organ, and to be able to separate it neatly requires the skin to be crumbled. Pinning the person out in the hot sun until they become badly sunburnt, or put into a scalding hot bath works best. If you choose the second way, then make sure you remove them before they are boiled alive. <laughs> skin is now tender. Secondly, some believed the best bit to take off first would be the face. Make gentle scores around the neck. Don't cut their throat and pull away. This will hurt a lot as nerves are embedded deep into skin layers. The only thing worse than dying this way would be severe radiation poisoning, like on that show Chernobyl. To remove all the skin, it is best to take off large sections of it, cut deeply, then rip it off. There's no other way. There will be tons of blood loss, so be prepared for it getting messy. Your skin is a kind of which keeps all the blood in. Something else to be aware of is infection. With so many wounds and tissue damage, it's going to happen. One good thing is that when your body experiences really horrible pain, it reacts by releasing something called endorphins. It helps a little, but nothing like enough to make any difference. Now, <laughs> assuming the person has got this far and is still alive, they could die from hypothermia. You see, the skin helps you keep you warm too. After that, parts of your body might go numb due to nerve damage. This is what diabetics often experience. This isn't good, as once those nerves are dead, that's it. Then, there's shock, unconsciousness, etc. Your skin won't grow back either like it does when you hurt yourself a little. Worst of all is that you usually take days to die after having your skin removed. For the really lucky ones, it might only take hours. That's it. Uh, thank you, Melissa. The teacher remarked in shock. When I said research something about medieval history, I never meant anything this explicit. Melissa blushed. I'm sorry, miss. Some of the other pupils looked very pale. A couple were laughing. Her teacher saw that she had upset Melissa, so she smiled in order to raise her spirits. She was only 12 and very courteous, an intelligent young lady. She understood that some children do go through phases of being fascinated with the macabre. Not to worry, the teacher joked. Now, it's very graphic, but how do you know any of this would actually happen? Melissa pointed to the empty desk in the corner of the classroom. The one that used to be occupied by Matthew Cartwright. Reported missing two weeks ago.